Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. And what we're going to make is actually a chocolate, chocolate, I'm sorry, shell topping or ice cream hard shell topping. And I think you know which brand I'm talking about, but this is such an easy recipe so that you can um, use it over ice cream, you can use it over uh, frozen popsicles, um, uh, you can use them over frozen bananas. It's so quick, it's so easy, and it's a whole lot cheaper uh, than, than buying it. So let's get started. First, start off, I'm using dark chocolate today, uh, dark chocolate morsels, but you can use whatever flavor that you want, three ounces. Now, I'm just putting it in my little um, saucepan here on medium heat and you're going to melt that. Now once you melt that you're going to put three ounces of coconut oil and you want it where it's solid. You don't want it once it's melted or anything. Just right from the container. Three ounces, okay? Now this particular recipe I'll explain in a moment. I just want to get start to get these melted but I don't want to um, seize, seize this chocolate. Um, you can make this on your microwave uh, with a micro safe bowl uh, and it's really quick too. But I just um, thought this would be easier because I really don't have a camera set up uh, for a microwave and, and uh, counter. So I used my saucepan. Now once you melt that, then um, go ahead and put your three tablespoons, let me get this out a little bit, I had, I had it in the fridge, so put your three ounces in there, and then melt the chocolate with the uh, coconut oil. Now, um, it's going to get very uh, thin, very liquidy. Uh, or runny. Maybe you prefer that I call it runny. So don't think that you've done something wrong, okay? But you do want it um, melted, okay? Now, why I'm waiting for this to melt, all right? Um, you're going to do the same thing if you want to try the microwave. Put it, um, you know, your chocolate in a micro safe bowl. Okay, then just add your three tablespoons of your uh, coconut oil, and then every 30 seconds, keep checking it in the microwave, okay, and keep stirring it till you know it's really smooth and it's all combined, if you want to try that method. Then take it out of the microwave, of course, put it in... Um, you know, a bowl or whatever you have, a, a jar, and let it cool. You know, it might take a minute, might take three, it might take five. It depends how hot it is. And um, then you'll be able to, you know, start using it from that point. Now, I have this ready. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour this into this bowl. Okay. Let me, I'm going to try to get the, the excess. And as you can see, um, you know, it, got, it is quite liquefied. It's quite runny, just like I told you. But you can't use it or don't want to use it till it cools down. And that really depends how hot, you know, that you've heated it. All right, I'm going to set this aside. Okay, and get rid of that. All right, and um, I do have some that I made ahead, so it would be cool enough to show you. So I'm just going to bring back my paper here. Okay, now this is some that I made ahead and it's already been cooled, okay? So it's not hot. Now, um, if you want to, uh, let me grab 
what I need out of the freezer. Okay. For instance, if you want to dip a popsicle, these are um, orange, also blood orange popsicles dipped in this chocolate. Oh, they are so good. Okay, and then just take that. And if you want to submerge it in a, in a you know, in a larger, uh, larger bowl, you can go ahead. I tend to just like to drizzle it over. And I, you know, I like kind of a thick coating on it. And just let it drain down. Okay. All right. And then if you have uh, uh, styrofoam or you can just lay them on wax paper uh, let it hard once it hardens to the touch then you know what I like to do is I like to wrap them in a little plastic wrap and then put them in the freezer till I'm ready to uh, to serve them but you can see already that hard finish has dried on this uh, popsicle okay so we have that done now we have a banana that I just used these uh, sticks. You can use um, popsicle sticks too, whatever that you have. So I have a frozen banana and then the same thing. Just dip it in, nicely cover it in chocolate. Everybody loves frozen chocolate bananas, but who wants to pay the price for them when they're already made up like this? And again, I like a nice thick, thick coating of it. You might not. You might just want, you know, uh, a thin layer. Okay. And the same thing with the frozen bananas. To keep them till I serve them, once they harden here, then I place that on a um, piece of um, wax paper like I have here, or saran wrap, or your parchment paper. Okay. Here's one um, that I actually um, did also uh, with a blood orange uh, popsicle earlier and then wrapped it up okay I'm just gonna move the banana to the other side let that dry a little bit so that you can see it okay and again that uh, mixture that I made is still warm it's a little too warm uh, for it to start uh, dipping uh, things so again just you don't want it uh, hot you don't want it warm you want it cool okay now I also want to show you that a lot of uh, people and including myself I asked my friend when when I saw her do this at her house um, when you have leftover I went ahead and poured what I had left over in this container and I put it in the refrigerator and you can see it got hard okay and so if you're not going to use all of this um, you'll want a nice airtight container for it. I keep mine in the fridge uh, and when it comes out it's going to be like this. It's going to be solid. Put it back in your microwave about every 30 seconds or so. Just stir it till it's melted again. Let it cool down again and you're ready to use it you know again. So you, if, you, know, you don't have to worry that you know, what am I going to do? Just throw this out. I didn't use it. Just put it in the refrigerator. It is going to get hard, just like this. But then you'll put it back in the microwave every 30 seconds. Stir it till it's smooth again. Let it cool. And then you're ready to dip. Okay? So there we have it. We've got that beautiful banana with chocolate coating on it. And then again, you can just wrap it back up in your saran wrap or your plastic wrap. Put it in your freezer till you're ready to serve them. So it's easy and it's quick 
and it's inexpensive to make this chocolate shell topping or if you prefer ice cream hard shell topping or coating. If you give this recipe a try and you like it, we'll leave a comment because I'd like to hear from you. I'm sorry I no longer put the recipes below the videos anymore due to so many people posting and pinning and taking my work to other sites. Uh, and it is frustrating that when you do write to me and I want to answer you that I can't because my work is on another site. So um, please solely watch me on YouTube on Diane Love to Bake and I will answer your questions or your comments in a timely fashion. Um, if you like this recipe, the like the video, give it a like. I really appreciate it. Or if you're so inclined, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that would be wonderful. Well, thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. Stay well. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon.